Good evening and welcome to Paranormal Path Peeps. And tonight we have Glenn Richardson. How are you doing? Hello there. Yeah, I'm doing good. Thanks. Yourself? Yeah, great. Thanks. It's getting a bit chilly out here now. Oh, yeah, definitely. Cold weather's <laughs> coming in. That's right. And this sort of warning us of snow as well. But I love snow. I don't mind the Christmas time. Uh, it makes it more Christmassy. I'm a big, I, I love Christmas. Um, but I think and it's Atis, bit... you got your tree up. Yep, but I think it's a bit early for snow. <laughs> yeah, I've got my uh, Ghostbusters Christmas jumper. <laughs> I just got it through. I'm just dead chuffed with it. I really am. <laughs> so um, you've got a um, page for UFOs and you've got a page for Paranormal. Yep. So tonight we're going to be talking about the UFO side because it really does intrigue me so much. And I've got a story to mention to you in a bit, which is from Carl Hodgson. So yeah. I'm going to uh, tell you what the story is and then see what your comments are on that as well. Yeah, yeah. So that'd be interesting. So what actually got you into ufology then? Well, I've always been interested from since I was a little lad in, in all types of uh, unexplained phenomena. Um, it, it's always appealed to me. I've always watched things. <clears throat> um, watching documentaries watching you know things on tv um and then i think i was about 16 17 i think around that around that time uh me my father came in and he seen me watching a program and he said that he witnessed something um and it was absolutely fascinating because he's very very skeptical um mm -hmm. always had a rationale um for it and basically he said what he was woke up at the early hours and uh, at the sound of, he said it sounded like someone hoovering. So it's like mum was hoovering up. Uh, but then he realised, obviously, she was still in bed. Um, went downstairs and he says it was only for a couple of seconds, the full sky just lit up red, orangey colour. And wow. it was, wasn't just like a light, it was like the full sky lit up. Um, okay. And then it just went quiet and the lights just went off. Um, and apparently at the time, because um, I, I wasn't born at this at this time, there was a lot of uh, local press involved after it. There was a lot of people commenting and things and writing into the newspapers and stuff. So that just in, intrigued me even more. So I started reading uh, books and everything I could get on the subject. And I came across this book, Alien Investigator, by the late Tony Do uh, Dodd. Uh, fascinating book absolutely brilliant i would recommend anybody to uh to read it and it was about uh, obviously his life as an investigator himself um and it just inspired me more i think because you know he's going around talking to people getting information off people so i thought this is something that i need to do uh, so i bought adverts in local uh, like in paranormal magazine gfo magazines um and obviously it all started off from there i was getting calls and to be honest with you i'm not a, a trained investigator um but you learn things how you you know as you, you go on and That's when right. i first started it wasn't more of keeping records or anything like that it was just basically just speaking to people and getting their accounts of what they witnessed and it was just so fascinating uh, so as time went on you learn new techniques new things and obviously i keep a database now i keep records of all the cases because as we all know when there's more than just one pair of eyes seeing something you know it brings it more um validated so you know someone might witness something 20 years ago and then someone could come to me tomorrow and say i've witnessed this site and i can go back to my records and think oh hang on he's seen the same thing as this person's witness 20 years ago so then you've got two yeah. people you, you know what i mean so i yeah. think it's always best to to keep these records um so yeah it all it all stemmed from, from there um you know and like i say things have changed uh where you know i'd travel the whole of the country to, to speak to people face to face um unfortunately i don't do this as a job as we all love oh. to um, yeah as times change now and at the end of the day there's there's no there's no case more important than any others but i think a lot of the time now i've found out where i can generally 
do a lot of the investigation over the phone rather go down and, and traveling six hours to speak to somebody who will just tell me exactly what they've told me over the phone if that makes sense yeah. or an email you know what i mean um so i can generally do that obviously uh over the phone or, or by email um but when it comes to more delicate cases um like a possible abduction cases then that's when i'll do my utmost to go and speak face to face to that person because it's a yeah. bit more delicate you know it's it's a lot of the time i think which is great you know people might not believe but they, they see my page or whatever and oh, i've seen this and send it in but then when it's a bit more complex a bit more sensitive with abductions you know it, it, that person needs to get your trust um, that's right yeah they, you know what I mean they don't know me and the information that they tell tell me it, it's really you know it, sensitive and personal um, definitely so yeah it's it, it's good to you know it uh just have an uh, example one abduction ca case was you know it started off where the their friend witnessed something in the sky okay. and it's, it's sort of like sped from there where no disrespect to the the uh the person who's claiming to be abducted that friend didn't exist they were just getting my trust if that makes sense they were just oh, trying yeah. to feel more comfortable to actually tell me exactly what was going on yeah so I get you. Saying, oh this 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 and that and i think basically just sort of seeing if you know is this guy legit or is he just a, a phony just is he you know what i mean because you know like i say it's 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 dead easy um get in touch with someone and saying or send an email saying i've seen this or you know what i mean yeah that's right but with ab abduction it, it, it's totally totally different it is know? different um i was friends with the person on facebook now i might still be but with facebook you don't see everybody do you yeah and um he was actually speaking to the u.s press quite a lot and he's interviewed a lot because he'd been abducted more than once mm -hmm. and you know he, he was getting fed up because the press would speak to him and then he'd just be ridiculed and everything yeah so there he is you know he's telling his story as it is and he's just getting all grief and everything and it's just not on is it for him to oh, like not... try and help people mm. you know this is what i've seen this is what has happened and then just get all that and no, that's not on really no that's it. it it's not and like i say it, it is difficult for people to come through and i'd marry it anybody who comes through and talks about what happened and you know it's it's a lot gives them a lot of courage to to do this you know to to speak it about, does yes you know it's it's definitely really, yeah because that you know everyone will think it's a medical reason you know i'll, I'll go to a doctor's or something wouldn't they oh, and absolutely. a lot would just come out with that answer yeah definitely and it's like i've always says before it, it obviously the, the, the subject itself um if you're a non-believer or you know if you go to a doctor and say i don't know what's going on i'm having i'm having these things straight away they're going to be thinking you know is this some sort of form of uh, mental illness is it you know yeah, I mean, they're not going to look at that side of it um where people like myself um yeah we do we do we you know we do look at other possibilities but yeah you know we're not there to judge people we, we we don't judge people you know we and we do look at other possibilities and um I'll, i have contacts over the uk who do hypnotic regression so depending on where this wow. client is and if that's something they want to pursue then obviously we can go down that route um you know and it's so yeah it, it's all like i say it's all about helping people it, yeah, yeah. it's all started off as a fascination for me but yeah it, it you know I, I am a believer these things are going on with, without a shadow of doubt and you know especially with abduction people uh are needing even if it's just someone to talk to they don't want anything from it they don't want to take it further because of like you said the ridicule and stuff like that um sometimes it's just nice to chat about it um, that's right you know and, yeah but they kind of want an answer like i had something happen to me on the paranormal front mm. and it really screwed my mind up six months 
Yeah. And it's like, well, what happened? I was talking to Ben Winfield. He actually gave me the words or explained it. But, you know, if you've got something like that, you can't speak to your friends. Not always. No. You know, it. it depends where you are, what your job is and everything, doesn't it? Mm. And yeah, it it's is, just it's, great that you can be there to help these people. It is. And it, like you say, it's, you know, it, it is strange how people react. And, you know, I can remember before I sort of, um, I don't like saying this, but before I started getting a name for myself, um, when I first started off, uh, I can remember being at work and there was a, an article from Nick Pope um, about when he was working for the Ministry of Defence on the UFO disc and everything. And they were saying, oh, God, you know, how, how interesting this is and must be brilliant um, doing this type of work. Yeah. And then a couple of weeks later, I was in the paper. Oh, wow. And... I was just ridiculed. You know, they just took the mick out of me. And I'm thinking, hang on a sec, a couple of weeks ago, you said it, you were saying oh, it, you're brilliant yeah. doing it. But now you know someone who's doing it. It's like, I'm a freak. You know what I mean? uh, Yeah, that's it. But it's, you know, it's, I've been doing this for over 20 years now. And I don't get ridiculed no more. But it, you know, yeah, that, that's it. Because I, I, I've not been doing mediumship long. Like, I've been, it's like, done development seven years. And it, it's like something that I don't say, you know, and mm. like I've come out more at work now, but you know, you don't go into a new job and go, Oh, I talk to the dad, do you? Yeah. <laughs> you know, because no, I don't yeah. <laughs> close eyes and think, Oh yeah, okay, avoid. But yeah, it's just one of those, isn't it? And it's yes. just a fasc fascinating. But I think just speaking here, you've got a lot of similarities obviously between the paranormal because there's no answers there the ufology it, it's it, you know it's just trying to work out the evidence isn't it it is, it is and you know, a lot of the time it's just people's experiences and word of mouth well it is it's you know it's 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 sort of it regards to obviously there's, there's you know I, I get um messages nearly every day um regards to sightings and things and you know it's sort of as we all know you know as the way society is and how, how people associate with um these objects people say you know it, a ufo you know as we all know ufo stands for unidentified flying object yeah that's it's it. alien but obviously society the class is well that's it, it's from another aliens no, it's yeah. not it's just something that's unidentified um yeah. now if it's a plane or something from another world then it's identified it's not a ufo you know it, it's sort yeah. of but there's many there's many things that you know can be misconstrued you know one of the perfect i wish i wish i could get a picture but you just want to google it it's, it's amazing one of the the main things that's sort of mistaken for a ufo i suppose at the time it is a ufo but like something from another world is yeah. a bird now it's quite strange if you catch a bird at the right speed it just looks like the usual UFO pictures people oh, see. Oh wow! You know, okay. it's, it's absolutely fascinating. You know what I mean? But yeah, it's you know, and when you enhance it and go deeper into the the, the image, then you, you tend to find out what it is. But oh my gosh! That's you know, that's what people like myself do. We we investigate these things, and a lot of the time we do come up with rational answers. But then there's that small percentage uh, we don't. Um, and how often are people disappointed when you get the rational? <laughs> if I'm honest with you, the, 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 I've never come across anybody disappointed. If I'm quite honest, right. they still <laughs> find them for, for you know find this out. Um, but I think, in a way, it's again as what I was talking about, like abduction cases. It's a case of the norm legit because it's not the case of oh I've got this. Oh yeah, it's, a, it's something from outer space. You know what I mean? It's I've, I've yeah. looked properly and I've, I've found a, an answer and it's not an answer that they're probably looking for but they still appreciate that got an answer, yeah. and you know i'm just just no phony that sort of says well yes it's definitely something from outer space when it's not um yeah that's cool all uh, right i'm just going to do a few shout outs then so i've got carl hodgson hi leslie hudson i hope you're okay leslie Leslie's going to join us tonight but um, seen circumstances she couldn't, but hope you're okay. No, Howard, Petrie, hiya. 
Uh, also from Things Network as well, so look out for his shows. Scott Mathewson, thank you so much for watching. Um, Scott is on at nine o'clock tonight, so just over an hour and a bit. Um, Donna Fuller, Danielle Ripley, Von Hunter, hiya, hope you're all right. Hi, Lois, hope you're all right. Hope shift goes well. Wayne Seedon, hi, Kevin Jackson. Now, Kevin Jackson has posted a really interesting photo. Um, I don't think I can get it on the stream because uh, I might lose connection if I try it. But it's it's brilliant. And um, a shame I can't show it to you now, but I'll show it to you afterwards, see what you think. Sorry, but, you talked me there. Are you talking to... Yeah. I, I, yeah, I've seen it. I've been in touch with Kevin. Yeah, I've, I've, oh, I've you have? It. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, so what do you fun. think of that then? Yeah, it's... it's um, it's interesting. Um, it is. Obviously, I've told Kevin I, I'm I'm will be looking into it uh, further. Um, once that's at the early stage, but yeah, it's it's very interesting. Not sure what it is just yet, but yeah, it's. Because um, I ask for standard questions, I think sometimes asking questions it might come across as negative, but I said like, was it behind glass? And also, you know, was the light reflecting on the lens somehow? But I don't know how because it's daylight anyway. Yeah. But no, yeah, other than that, I don't know. It was yeah, like I said, yeah. it's not it's not negative. It, you know, you, you got to ask these questions. You know, what I mean? oh, I do. <laughs> it's it, it's it's part of the investigation. You, you know, in yeah, and, that, and that's what uh, you know for me, a good investigator does it does look at all possibilities, and you've got to get all the facts. You've got to, you know, and so yeah, it's you know, it's a great picture. It's, in, um, it's interesting. It's it is an interesting picture. It really is. Yeah. I'd be happy to have taken it. <laughs> I've got like thousands. I do photography, you know, so for like from the photography aspect to sort of look at what could possibly cause it. Yeah. Uh, I, other than that, I don't know, you know, like, I'd, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, we've got Carl Hudson then, if Roswell was real, and if aliens have been in contact, why do our governments always cover it up? As in this day, many look at the big picture. Are we really alone? Good question. Um, now, uh, obviously, you want to go back to the Roswell. Uh, yeah, um, for me, it's a fascinating case. Uh, I it do is. believe it one hundred percent. Now, I don't think there's anything there now um, because no. obviously, the, for I don't know if anybody can remember, but for years, you know, before the internet and all that, the the, the American government. Um, denied that Area 51 existed, um, but because of Google yeah. Earth and stuff like that, obviously it was found. Um, and yeah, they might have their own, you know, logical explanations of, of why, you know, the, the government, military, uh, you know, that keep things secret. But yeah, it, you know, it wasn't there. But now, obviously, they have to come out and, and say yes, uh, Area, yeah. Area 51 does exist um, now. Regards to obviously Roswell crash, um, for me, there's enough evidence to suggest that yes, something did happen. Um, now, regards to the secrets, there's a lot of theories out there. Um, obviously, there's theories out there that we're in communication with them. Um, obviously, a lot of the planes that are developed are using from crashed UFO technology. Um, so they're passing technology to us. So yeah. what we're giving them, you know, like I say, this is all theories. It's you know, I mean, yeah, exactly. Um, that, you know, is are there the government letting them do experiments on on us? You know, yeah. this, this, that part of it. Um, so obviously, you know, it's not just a case of yes, UFOs are real. Something's going on. Then people start asking. So what what's what's the reason? You know, I mean, why are they, you know, yeah. what's going on? Why why have you kept it a secret? You you know, um, and I get asked the question all the time, you know, from skeptics, you know, why, you know, if if things did come here, they'd have to be more far more advanced with technology than we are. Why can't they be? You know, I mean, that's the question I ask. Why can't they be more advanced that's with technology? Right. Um, why would they come here? Well. We've isn't got, that what you've been doing for years? We've been trying. Isn't it something that we have that may, they may want? 
exactly. Um, you know, it's it's what we've been doing. You know, we've been yeah. on the moon. We've been sending things to Mars. Now, I'm not being funny, but if we knew there was life on a planet, we would do our best to get to that planet. You know what I mean? We, we would. Yeah. But that's, you know, and it's like you say, is this something that we've got that they haven't? Um, you know, and as the government, you know, it's a case of, for a long time, we're saying, but, you know, if this thing was real, it'd be a mass hysteria and people panic and stuff like that, which for me is gone. You know what I mean? A very big percent think these things are real. Now, they might not think they're visiting Earth, but they believe they do exist, you know. Yeah. Um, and and that's something else I say to people, you know what I mean? Um, why don't you, well, you know, why don't you think it, there can't be life out there? You know what I mean? You're not looking at the bigger picture. We are out there. We yeah. have evolved on a planet, whether through religion or evolution. It's happened. Matter of yeah. fact. So what you're telling me, it's it's never happened again, and there's millions and millions of planets out there. It, it's crazy, just, isn't it? It's all. I can't happened. even get the concept of all these planets and. That's it. Oh, you, know what I mean? you know, and yeah. So yeah, it's it's the, the government knows about it. No, you know, I mean, they all have the theories. Um, That's right, but. You know, it's and like I say, you know, a big part of it's the technology. You know, it's a lot of planes that the US especially have developed, you know, the stealth bomber. You know, what I mean, it, the wonder where they've got the technology for that, you know, and mm. it's just that part of the deal, you know, it's but yeah, it's yeah, you really have no idea. A quick shout out then to Chantal Raidman and Van says, uh, it's very sad that people are so easy to ridicule someone who has been through such an experience. That's it right, isn't it? It is. You know, and people are shocking. Absolutely. Oh, nice question here from Van. Have you been abducted yourself? No, I haven't. And, and if I'm honest with you, um, I've never experienced anything that I could seriously say this, you know, is is heading to this direction. Yeah, I've seen things that I've spotted in the sky, um, but you know, there can be logical explanations, but nothing sort of some of the stories you, you hear of what people yeah. have witnessed and have seen. You know, unfortunately, I've never come across anything. Yeah, um, I'm going to read a story to you. I'll just get it up on my phone. Um, so basically, Carl's watching. Carl Hodgson's watching. And he's just sent me a story. And basically, I'd like to know your opinion, opinion on it. Yeah. So it's a story which was told over a 50-year time frame. And to people, this was told in the like early 90s, a few weeks before the person passed away. If you spoke to anyone who had heard it, it was always the same story. The guy was known locally to Carl as a Mr. Foster. He was a local barber and one night he couldn't sleep and he went for a walk around the local area that had a big field and he saw a large orange ball. His first thought was that it was a balloon. As he got near, a small row of flashing lights going all around appeared and then it started to hum. He said it was only six inches away, he was only six inches away from it. And as he went to touch it, the ball shot up into the air and vanished in seconds. When he got home, his watch was an hour slow. His final words on this, I don't care if anyone calls me, I know what I saw, and it was not of this earth. Thanks for that, Carl. Absolutely, yeah, very interesting. Well, a few things that uh, stick out, if, uh, if I can put a word to it is the fact of the the detail of it. Um, and it's like what I've always said to people, even when um, I'm doing an investigation and I tell them what I believe it is, um, and it's, it's like he's what, what he pointed out, is the fact of he knew what he saw. Yeah. So, and if someone's, like you say, six inches, was it, something like that, you know, that, yeah. that's a distance. That's not like, you know, from a few miles away, 
That's uh, right. It can be well, mis, it, mis, mis, right mis, there, mis, isn't it? You know, um, it's sort of. I know I'm going off the ball a bit, but with uh, Rendlesham Forest, you know, what I mean. Oh wow! They were so close to that where they were touching it, but then a, yeah. a skeptic says, "Oh, you know what they believe it was light like some." Uh, uh, can't think of the word now. Um, anyway, it was some some light. I'm thinking, I'm yeah. like, touching it in your sense of light. Um, so it's like what he's saying. It's you know, he, he's really close to it. Uh, obviously, the same story over the 50 year period was very important. Um, so obviously, remember a lot of it. And another factor for me is I've come across this many times of the orangey red ball i've come across that many times wow. a lot of people have come forward with the the same type of object um, and many i've had loads of cases um yeah and it possibilities for that um for me is i've had a, a great interest in that because it's Yes, it's 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 a UFO and it's part of the UFO family, if you want to. Say. But I look at it as a, is it some sort of uh, as it come from a UFO? So it's come down, check things out, monitor, right? Okay, and then go up. You know, is it like a like a drone? Yeah, back in, like a drone. Ish, um, you know, before we even had that technology. Well, that, that's it, and because for me, I think it, you know. A lot of the reports I get for me, an actual craft itself, it's too small because the ass really small. So one possibility is it's sort of a drone type thing where they have sent down. Um, yeah. You know, because there's been many reports of seeing them over crop circles before crop circles were formed. Um, so yeah, it you know it's, uh, and that's what I say to people. You know, it's it's like going back to the. Uh, the pictures you were talking about, you know, I mean, it could be many explanations, you know, um, lens flare and, and things like that. And, you know, and obviously the sun, it's in daylight. Yeah, but, but is, for lens flare to get four. Well, it, yeah, you know, God, I mean, other it? possibilities, what could be. I'm not saying is. Yeah, that, that's right. Uh, but regards to this, it it's not something he'd seen from a distance. You yeah, know, that's it, right. It's can nearly physically really close. touch it. It's that close where he's, trying to touch it yeah you know um so he's got to have witnessed something what it is i don't know um but i am very intrigued and in, and in that type of phenomena because i've come across it many many times and uh, that actually gives more validation to the story it does the fact that you've heard this story if you, you know similar occurrences from different people yeah that's, absolutely many, that's many, great many. Um, so Lois, um, Lois is actually working tonight, so she's usually co-host but can't make it. Um, she found herself drawn to ufology in that. What's your thoughts on Skinwalker Ranch? Well, uh, it's a very spooky place. <laughs> you know, it, it has <laughs> everything. Um, uh, it has cryptozoology, UFOs, uh, ghosts, you know, it's it, it has everything. Um, yeah. Let's put this way. I, I would like to go at some point. I, I, I tell you, that, you know, you look at all the places of um, where invest, investigators like to go, and obviously, uh, Area Fifty One is probably top Definitely. of people's list. It's not mine because, like I say, I don't think anything. Got, yeah, now. you know, what I mean, if anything, if the government are housing um, certain things, it'll be somewhere else. Now it wouldn't be every 51. Definitely, yeah. The, yeah, but they want the ranch, people, yeah. yeah you know, the, if two people get in, then they like, just want them to find nothing. And that's yeah, that. but Skinwalker Ranch, yeah, it, it's... Yeah. <laughs> uh, it appeals to me quite a lot, that... Um, yeah. It's like, it's, you know, I have, I have friends myself from uh, the US and they've investigated it and they've always captured something. You know what I mean? Is that it, definitely something going on there? You know, it's 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 like yeah. Christmas Day all at once. Yeah, and um, Wayne, Wayne says over the last few years there've been more people coming forward and being accepted after seeing something, and it it is walking hand in hand so much with the paranormal, isn't it? It is. Because people yeah. are getting to talk about things now. 
it is it, it's um <coughs> excuse me um i'll be i'll be very honest with you I, i'm i'm not a big lover of um social media and things like that but it helps a great deal um because obviously when i first started on started this it was the case of people had to ring me um so it's sort of like people are nervous because they're actually talking to somebody where now it's you know you can drop a message on facebook or or send an email you know what i mean you don't have to talk to these people face to face but on that side of it i do think as the times have gone on more people have accepted the fact and it's like what i mentioned earlier i think if you know if the, i know apparently the government's supposed to come out and says that you know there is but i've not come across it yet no. uh, but if they did come out and say yes this thing is real there you know years ago I thought it was gonna be mass hysteria and people panic but it wouldn't be now with the case of i think if it came on telly and someone says oh the government have just acknowledged the fact that area 51 did house ufos and aliens yeah. tell me something i didn't know you know what i mean i think that'd be the response that's right yeah it wouldn't be a shock you know what i mean it'll be a case of well, yeah we, we knew this you know and which is good um <clears throat> but there's it's like going back to before depending on the case and depending on the severity of what's going on there's still a bit of the, the, the mockery that goes out but you know i have a lot of um i admiration for people who do come forward you know because I mean? it does take a lot oh it does yeah definitely even things are more open now i've got luke allerton watching now luke is part of a group i hope you don't mind me saying this who um sort of go to a forest and meet up and try and open communication which i definitely want to join them sometime mm. and they have had some interesting uh, reactions Right. so things things have happened um so you know it, it's nice that people can meet up absolutely. and try and do an investigation and <clears throat> try and communicate absolutely it, it, and obviously i don't want to get into this too much um because I, I tend to keep the quiet on this side of it but there's you know there's a lot of um bickery going on with the paranormal and, and, and ufology so if i'm honest with you, especially more with the paranormal side of it ufology is mm. not too bad um yeah but it's a lot of like bickering it's as if it's like a, a competition who, who gets the you know what i mean we're all yeah. in it for the same thing you know what i mean it's, I, i'll be honest with you i've um because like i say i don't you don't do this full time i wish i did but um i had an abduction case it was down cornwall way uh, you know, I mean, I'm up in the northeast. Uh, yeah. Oh, you know, well, yeah. And I like to get really there as soon as possible. So I, I passed it on to a local team. You know, I spoke to obviously spoke to the you know the, the experience and said, look, this is the situation. Um, and, and as time they were happy for me to pass on to somebody else, but my mind mm. was focused on them, not about oh, this is for me. You know, what I mean, as long as they got the help they wanted, that's all that matters. You know I mean, it's not about the oh I, I get more I, you know what i mean it's it's for me it's all about helping people and it's like i was saying before before we came on um it's the same as the the paranormal team you know we, we don't do public events and we just do uh team only or private because we just want to help people you know and, and that's the top and bottom of it yeah um i i sort of um this woman had an issue with a demon on a Facebook group and a lot of people write stuff on Facebook but I was actually drawn and it seemed real um so I put her in touch with a friend of mine and um he has helped her and she did have a real issue and you're not going public on it you know and you don't know what happens and how people try and help people in the background that's it you know it's um again it's I've, I've known people go in to help people and they've just made things worse um yeah i have this thing um uh as you know you know I, I do believe in the paranormal um i have friends who are demonologists i do believe in demonic possession i, I do believe in all that yeah. i just i just think sometimes people go to that avenue too quickly yeah that makes sense definitely. and i've seen that happen many times where 
something will happen, they'll go, oh, it's demonic. And then that family's more frightened than the That's way before right. they turned up. You know what I mean? I'm like, it, it's like I said, I've done this for years and years and years. And I'm not saying I'm perfect, but me personally, I've never come across anything that's demonic. Never, no. not once. You know what I mean? Um, but that, I might have a picture of something demonic, but yeah. only because I was with a demonologist yeah. at the time. And and like I said, that doesn't mean <laughs> but... I, don't, I do believe. I, I really do. Um, but I, like I said, I just think people go down that route too early. And I've, I've known people <laughs> who are absolutely, you know, they've, they've left them more scared than anything because it's a case of, well, okay, it's demonic. What are you going to do? Well, crap, I can Yeah, do. go to a priest. Yeah. Holy water. Like, you know what I mean? And the more Burn it. <laughs> yeah, the more frightened than the way we thought it started. Um, but yeah, it's um but yeah, it for me it but it that side again is 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 real. Um as much as I do believe in power not people might think it's strange, but as much as I do believe in the paranormal, I'm also I do I am a religious person as well. Um, you know, so yeah. I do believe in demonic and, and things like that. Um absolutely. Yeah, that's right. And um, you can you can do religion you can do paranormal you can do people don't have to fit into like brackets do they you know no, it, it, it you've got an thing. open mind haven't you and yeah, you can you know, ask, ask the have your own how, beliefs you know how can i believe in god but then believe in aliens well why why not why can't I? why not <laughs> you, you know what i mean um yeah exactly as far as i know god could have created the aliens as well i, I don't know um yeah and that that is the thing we we don't know we don't know and that's what's all intriguing about it, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Because we don't know. No, we don't. And, you know, it's, it's, and I know all these words get pushed around, you know what I mean? I've had it myself in news articles, um, in local press, you know, they me as expert. And there's no such thing as an expert, you know what I mean? No. It's, 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 you know, it's, we're all learning. Like I said, I've been doing this for years and I still pick up new things. I still learn off people, you know what I mean? It, it's, um, yeah, that's it. We've got Luke Allerton then. Um, he said, um, Area 51 is a big cover up. It could be a bit like Stargate, where they're traveling back and forth through a wormhole trading. Bit far fetched, but they wouldn't tell if it was. Since Roswell, look at what tech has boomed. Absolutely. You yeah. Know, it, 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 it's like what I was saying earlier. You know, it, it's that's one of the theories of, you know, is, is that's what's happening with trading? Um, or more so the. the the us um but i think there'll be a lot of uh governments involved um but yeah, yeah. absolutely um you know it's, it's like i said before if they are coming here um which i do believe um they'll be far advanced in technology than we are so absolutely right. absolutely and and you talk about the universe you know it, it's it's <laughs> we, you can't we, even know, little, we know a little it. bit about it you know i mean we don't know what's up there and yeah you know, that's so, right you can't. It's just mad, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so Von said, uh, I think it happened before. Wouldn't surprise me if we're walking among us. Y you really don't know. The, the company. You don't. And, and it's, it's, it's sort of, <clears throat> you know, you, you look at the bigger picture and you go into the deep end years and years and years ago um, with the Egyptians and the pyramids and things like that. Um, yes. As far as I'm aware, I could be wrong, um, but there's no technology. Now, technology has improved vastly over the years. Yeah. But there's still no technology that can replicate the pyramids. There's no tools we have that can replicate the pyramids no. as how they are now. So, not taking anything away from them, uh, but do people honestly want us to believe that man with very limited equipment build these pyramids? That's right. I just, I just don't... I just don't find it possible. Um, and don't you know, some of the markings look like um, spaceships? Exactly. There's, there's mark, markings of spaceships in there and an alien face. You know what I mean? So Yeah, exactly. Um, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't want to take the glory away. Them they are fascinating um, things. But for me, I just find it impossible that man back then could build these things. And some of the yeah. pictures... They show you where they're, they're dragging them with raw, but I, I just find it, I just don't find it plausible. Yeah. Yeah, like I say, you know, we're just hearing the, the big cases, Venison Forest, you know, things like Skinwalker Ranch and Roswell, things like that. Uh, 
but these things have been going on for thousands of years. You know? Yeah, they're the only ones which have hit, you know, yeah. the headlines because it's in a in a world then where things did sort of make the news. Mm. Whereas Egypt, how you know, how did the word spread? Yeah. So, like Wayne also says, like even the Pope discussed it for two weeks with his cardinals about, um, and also Wayne, um, Mark Manley himself and three others witnessed three UAPs at once. Uh, got pictures of two, uh, two black triangles mm. over the area. I think that is at the forest, Ren well, Rendlesham be, Forest. Yeah, be interested to see them. Um, yeah, so. Your friends with Glenn, aren't you, Wayne? So if you are, if you just either send them to Wayne or, yeah. Yeah. Cool. But like I say, again, Renishing Forest, you know, it, it's it's a fascinating case. It is. Um, you know, and it, it's just one of them things where, again, the detail of it, the, um, of, not just seeing things in the sky, it landed, they touched it, you know what I mean? I, yeah. I have a couple of them on my, uh, on social media, on my friends list, uh, Jim Pedersen and people like that who are involved. You know, it, it, oh, it was a lighthouse. Sorry, that's that's the word I was looking for, a lighthouse. That's what right. the skeptic, I can't remember his name now, um, says that he believed that it was, you know, what he thought it was, was lights from the lighthouse. I'm like, seriously, come on. You know what I mean? <laughs> Uh, these guys touched us and you're saying it's lights. Um, yeah. Uh, but Kel Charles holds, you know, his, his statement, it's it's fascinating to read, you know. Um, again, um, he doesn't exactly come out and say, yes, it's something from outer space, but he, he says it's something he's never come across before. He's never, he's doesn't yeah, know what it so is. Yeah, that's something, isn't it? Um, yeah, and there's a lot of, a lot, you know, a lot of things out there, like logical explanations. It was a sort of uh, train uh, experiments going on with regards to the uh, the military, but I'm pretty sure they would have been in on it if then, you know, if there was a train next size going on. Yeah, they're being informed, <laughs> or even after, you know what I mean? Oh, by the way, it was just the train next. You, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, it's 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 fascinating. Um, yeah, I've got a question from an Irish bell then. Do you think that being sceptical is more out of fear of the unknown than disbelief? Absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. I, I do believe that. Um, uh, like I said, I'm a believer, but I'm sceptical in the evidence I get. I'm sceptical uh, because you, you get people who are believers who think everything is paranormal from my perspective. Yeah. But I'm sceptical in the way that I question things. And you question I, things I'm as well. You know what I mean? it's, I'm, I'm sceptical on the evidence I get put in front of me because then you know i need to find out what it is yeah but i'm not skeptical of the things that uh i do believe in them i do that's believe right in them. yeah i believe in your thoughts um but regards to people who i i probably wouldn't put them down as skeptical i'll just put them down as non-believers um yeah that's yeah it. i think a lot of explanation could be the fact that you know it's especially men um because men are the, the you know the bra and they're the one who looks after the family they need to take care of the family and if there's something going on um, especially on the demonic side of it, it's a case of well, what can I do to keep my family safe? Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. It's so, you know, yeah. I think a lot of it is the fear factor. You know, it's these yeah. things are real. So I've got a couple of similar comments here. Then, so Wayne, there's more than Area 51 now. They have an installation in Australia, but also Anne, um, Anne lived in Vegas. And there's all strange things happening there as well. Absolutely. Um, uh, you know, I, I've still seen things uh, myself, evidence-wise, of things happening uh, over Nevada Desert and, you know, around Area 51. But regards to housing, um, obviously going back to Roswell, apparently they housed, you know, alien life forms. Um, yeah. I don't think that would be happening now because I, the, the two was to get. Oh, oh no. yeah, you know what I mean. I, I just think it, it it wouldn't be logical to have these things there. You know. No. Uh, no. Not not now. No. They're not going to like have something like that happening where everyone knows about it. No, even that's if, it. you know without them getting access, obviously. 
Yeah. So um, what's your opinion on the Bob Lazar interview? Very interesting. Um, I do I do believe in Bob Lazar. Um, you know, uh, I think it was Bob Lazar, the interview I watched when he first came out in um, regards to Area 51. I'm pretty sure it was him. Uh, where obviously it was before this is how I explain it type of thing. Yeah. Um before Men in Black was Oh yeah. Like okay. the film Men in Black. Um yeah. he said that's what it was like at Area 51. Just people and aliens walking around and working on crafts and things. I'm sure it was Bob Lazar said that because he's had many interviews in the uh, lately. But yeah, um I, I like Bob. I think he's uh, credible. Of what he's yeah. about with um but again so it's it, certainly it, a person to listen to then yeah and check is. out mm, what he said absolutely um but it's it's i just think sometimes especially with skeptics and people who don't believe when they come up with so much detail i think on their side of it um, mm. it's too much you know, yeah, I, mean? I, I, I don't do this to prove people wrong. I do it for my own um, curiosity of what I'm trying to find and to help people. Because I just think yeah. to prove people wrong, you'll never do it. Because like I say, you give them all this information of what you're saying. It's like, oh, yeah, too far-fetched. So then you give them a little bit of information. Well, it could be anything. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, you, you never, you'll never change someone's mind. You know oh, I mean? gosh, no. Yeah, so well, I, I I was a skeptic, and I, I I like lived in this pub, and things happened, and yeah. I merrily went along my way, and I thought, yeah, okay, whatever, you know, mm. and then something happened to me, and it sort of changed my perspective of paranormal. Absolutely, and it's the reason I do it every weekend if I can. Yeah, and it's odd, you know, why why do I want to go and hang around dark, cold buildings? I don't know. Should be in a pub, but. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just I'm got me fascinated. Mad, isn't it? Um, yeah, what loot does um it's called C5. Sorry, what was that? Um Luke C E five. So what they do a mass meditation. What about C five? Uh, about... a lot of people meet up and just do a mass meditation. Right. And see if they can communicate. Oh, okay, yeah. That's that's my version. Sorry, Luke, if I get it wrong. It, it just really looks intriguing. <laughs> I definitely want to go. I will go. When I'm not busy, I will go. But, yeah. So they have a group meeting every few weeks near me. So, yeah, definitely going to try that one out. Because uh, uh, C5, I think he's, 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 I think he's talking about close encounters of the fifth kind. Is that what he's talking about? I think. No, there's actually a group who meet up. Oh, right. Well, they, they actually meet know, up. I know, I know a lot of experiences um, who can, who apparently, I don't like saying apparently, um, but, you know, who claim to communicate with, uh, I don't know about spirits, but obviously with uh, yeah. aliens and stuff like that. Um, and like I say, they're called experiences. Um, I have a, f a few of them. Um, I... <laughs> As far as I'm aware, there's, there's, they haven't trained to do it. They've, the, um, you know, I think if you want to call it being chosen, I think it's a case of their sort of channel to them. I think it's more the 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 the, the alien being sort sort of communicated to them, if that makes sense. Right. It's just yeah. not like the the human sort of saying, right, I'm going to try and communicate. It's sort of like they've chosen them type of thing, um, yeah. for whatever reason. Because because it's in it, it's come on my face came up on Facebook and I did want to go a specific weekend but I couldn't make it but mm -hmm. I do want to go and I do want to sort of see really because it does intrigue me and they have had things happen and yeah it's there isn't it it is yeah just um so what are your thoughts on the Black Knight satellite If I'm if I'm honest with you, um, I I just put it down as debris. Um, right. Okay. I, I, it it sort of I know it's been around, but it it doesn't sort of move in sort of any sort of uh, how a craft would. Um, you know it, the shape of it and everything. Um, 
that's what I would put it down to, unfortunately. Um, just debris from from what from whatever. Um, yeah. But it's a bit difficult from. Yeah. To... So Sam, who's got a show on Friday, uh, talking to Are You Haunted? Um, every day is a school day. Always something you can come across that you haven't experienced. Absolutely. Um, um, that's you've got it in one really. That's... Yeah. Absolutely, and it's the same yeah. thing. Like I said earlier, with investigators, you know what I mean? It's so much that you learn yourself, you come across yourself, you know, you you, you might think you, you know everything, and then someone else comes up and it's like, oh, you know. Um, it, but that's what, it's why we do what we do, you know. It's, it's, yeah, it's that's fun. right. So Von, Bob Lazar came up with so much information, I think, because he's working on the craft. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Um, and then Charles agrees believes in both absolutely yeah like that's some of the things you were saying and you know it, it's our our look at it was you know why it couldn't it's it's not for money because you know what i mean the job he had you know the profession he had he, he's he's making plenty of money so what makes someone come out if, if it is lies what makes someone come out and say these type of things you know you know what i mean it's like you need to question that of why would they and for me it's only to Tell the truth and let the people know. Of yeah. what's going on. You know what I mean? Absolutely. You know what I mean? He hasn't done it for any other reason. Yeah, He's... that's it. Mm. Um, when I went to Skegness, um, I was part of a power fest with Wayne, and um, the, a few saw a light above Church Farm Skegness, which just couldn't explain. It wasn't the plane or anything. And I think I was like outside when like people sort of mentioned it. <laughs> I didn't see it personally, but yeah, quite a few like questioned it. Mark Manley was there as well. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. well, it's it's it's, <coughs> and that's what I'm saying. It's sort of it, it, it comes with with certain um, uh, people who experience these these uh, objects. It all comes in with the detail as well of what people need to, to look at as well. It's like one case I was working on. It was up in the northeast, Northumberland, where um, now. This woman witnessed three objects. It was in broad daylight. Um, now she says two of them were Apache helicopters, military Apache helicopters. So she knew exactly what they were. Yeah, it wasn't just, exactly. a, wasn't just a helicopter. It was a Apache helicopter. But yeah, the they're one, they are obvious. Yeah. Yeah. So the third one, she couldn't identify. Now okay. this is what I found fascinating, um, as obviously part of the investigation. Um, obviously, the military's involved at some point, so it depends who you get as well. Some of us, you know, are very open, some are not. But I got in touch with the Ministry of Defence. Now, what I found fascinating was the fact that they acknowledge and you know were honest with me and says yes, there were three objects out at that time, at that date. Um, they were all. Apache helicopters. <laughs> yeah. You can't tell me why they were there. Now, for me, she knew. He, he sort was. of, you know, back there, started up saying there was Apache helicopters there. But she said there were only two. But he said there were all of them with Apache helicopters. Well, three of them were. That's and handy, but, isn't it? Yeah. And I thought, hang on, there's some that's <laughs> right here. But obviously, yeah. he, he couldn't tell me what they were there for. So I thought, you know, and I just found that so fascinating. And yeah, yeah. As, I'll be perfect on to you. I got, got to the stage of the investigation where I couldn't take it any further. I couldn't get no solid proof. But in my mind, I believe 100% of what she witnessed wasn't yeah. uh, an Apache helicopter. Well, she definitely saw three of something. Yeah. And two, she 100% confirms. And spot the difference really we yeah, know <laughs> there's something what looked different from the yeah. helicopters yeah and yeah yeah a lot of people might say well it doesn't mean it's something from another it, it doesn't you mean it doesn't mean that but all to me all it means is whatever that other object was he wasn't being honest no you that's I mean? it because he would have said two apaches and something else yeah if he uh, knew what helicopter it was not not yeah. three apaches um, you know, people might be saying, oh, you know, it might be a, another craft that they, they designed and they, they want to keep secret at the time being, well, why fly in daylight? 
Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> just put a flag on it, go, hey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Secret. Yeah, I just, um, yeah. So um, Luke, Luke's commented then. So it's um, a group who meet up. It's Close Encounters of the Fifth Kind. Basically, you practice meditation and consciousness, sending your location into the universe. With everything in the universe being connected, then hopefully ETs can pick up on the sub on the consciousness. Yeah, and yeah, they need to, and they've had strange lights appear. Yeah, I thought it was close encounters of the fifth kind. Yeah, um, yeah, it's you know, it's 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 like that. You know, it's these categories. It's sort of I know of the fifth one, but I'm not that really. Um, yeah. I'm not really sort of had much deal with that. Um, obviously, I'm going to go. I'm going to go to one, and if Bon wants to join me as well, yeah, because it, it's actually located between me and Bon, oh. so where they meet. Yeah, it'll be uh, it'll be quite interesting. Um, yeah, definitely up for sort of trying it out. It's interesting. Yeah. Because last time I went to the woods with Luke, it was a um, strange night. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I went for some paranormal, but I don't know what was going off in that car park. <laughs> Can imagine. <laughs> um, so, Carl, our future at some time will be out amongst the stars. The way technology is progressing. Have we got this technology now? And is it all under wrap? So you just don't know, do you? No, it's very well could be. We we haven't got a, you know, we. we eh, I do think a lot of it. it I think it's a plausible um, explanation for all what's going on. You know, regards to technology, I really do. You know, it, it's it, it's it's fair to say because, you know, it, things just advance really quick. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't be wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, that's it. I want to thank you anyway. So. No do you want to tell everybody about your group then? You yeah, like I said, I've been, um, I've, I've been a, a, an investigator now for over 20 plus years. Um, but this, I think it was earlier this year, I've uh, I've actually sort of gone that little step further. Um, and I'm just getting the website sorted out at the moment. But uh, I have obviously on social media, but obviously uh, formed a group, uh, Bufon, British UFO Network. And yeah. obviously the idea of that is just to get as much reporting as possible um, and sort of network with obviously I, I, like yourself um, and, and I have I'm not part but I know groups of all over the globe yeah. you know, in the US so obviously networking with them and, and sort of work, all working together and you know so yeah you can, it's I'm brilliant fun, though isn't it fun, yeah. it's great that you sort of meet people in this field and there Absolutely. are decent people and there are people who aren't aren't out for it for like stars yeah. egos and everything yeah that's it you know it's it's i just don't you know it i don't uh i, I just don't get all that you know what i mean and nah, it's, the only it. thing i can think of really without uh, you know i don't like judging people but is, is it down to to money you know what i mean it's like i i don't uh for regards if it's either ufology or the paranormal side with investigations i don't charge a single penny everything's free you know what i mean i just do it because i find it interesting and i just want to help people you know what i mean that, that yeah. met me employment over the years is generally i've been in employment where it's all about helping people you know what i mean i, I work with the nhs at the moment so it's all oh, wow. you know I mean? it's that's exactly what you know what i mean i want to do so it's a case of you know I don't put money to it because one it's not right and two so that means i'm just going to help people who can afford it you know what i mean it, it's the same yeah that's to, it to yeah anybody you know what i mean the services to anybody uh in any walks of life you know what i mean if that if that's what they're experiencing then yeah i want to help um in any way possible yeah um glenn is on facebook what i'll do is put put the links in the top of the show so if you click on the show in a bit, the links will be there of the ufology group and the paranormal group. So you'll be able to find them, Charles. Okay. But I want to thank everybody for watching. I want to thank you all for the questions. Carl Hodgson, cheers for the story. It's brilliant. 
um, glad Glenn could actually, you know, throw more light on it, basically, because it is like a common, more common experience, isn't it, really? Um, yep. Von, Von really enjoyed it. Thanks, Von. Thank you, everybody. Yes, and thank thanks you for spending an hour chatting to me, Glenn. Yeah, no problem. Um, thank you for having me. <laughs> brilliant. Look after yourself anyway. Excellent. Oh, brilliant, Wayne. That's great. Can you send it over to me as well? Thank you. Bye, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye. 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 See you.